Hi, this is Rodrigo Diaz from Security Solutions Team, and today I will show you an alternative to deploy Trosec within your implementation, alongside some troubleshooting tips for this methodology to improve your experience with the product. I want to highlight that this video assumes that you have previous experience with Trosec, so with a further to say, let's get started. Cisco Prosec CTS is a framework focused on identity-centric security for enterprise networks. It ensures the accessibility for users, devices, and networks to specific resources based through segmentation and policy-based control. In this video, the information related to the segmentation based on attributes is downloaded from the Identity Services Engine, and the enforcement is performed on a Catalyst 9300 switch. It is important that you review the version of your switch as the feature was introduced on Cisco IOS XC 17.1.1 where it gets a pack key that is used later on to download the CTS list and security group access list. This information is sent over a radius protocol in this instance. Under this scheme, to fetch data from ICE, the switch is capable to perform API queries directly through eyes to allocate the CTS information for segmentation and enforcement. Accordingly, using the admin certificate of the PAN node to ensure a secure connection through HTTPS, let's review the configuration required. To start the configuration of this feature, browse through the menu displayed on ICE under the General Trustec Settings page. Scroll down and enable the Trosec REST API service for network devices. Navigate to the configuration of the network access device from where the segmentation classification is done and enable the HTTP REST API option with a username and password. Next, proceed to export the admin certificate as it is displayed, as this certificate will be loaded on the switch device. Then enable the PSN node of your selection as a HTTPS server under the Project Server section displayed. First, create a trust point for the PAN admin certificate and its chain that were exported. Issue the command displayed on the switch to import the certificate. The following point is to configure the parameters for the PSN node you configured earlier, as you can see in this console. Finally, configure the parameter displayed on the screen that links the switch with the eyes to download the environment data and the policies. The first point that we are going to verify is that the switch allocates the environment data and policies accordingly with the commands displayed. On ICE we can verify that the data that was sent to the device itself that displayed the corresponding metadata. If you want to further analyze the corresponding behavior, you can enable the D-Box and review the exchange of communication between the ICE and the switch. On ICE, you can include the payload body of the reply, given by ICE to analyze the data. Please contact TAC in any case you need further support. Thanks for the time you took to watch this video.